Hi guys, welcome back to Lady Me's Kitchen and Decor. Um, today I am going to make me a cabbage salad. First, before I go into this, if you're a first time subscriber, welcome. If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do so. And don't forget to click the notification bell that when another video is uploaded, you will be one of the first to know. So I'm gonna make a chicken, I said a chicken, um, cabbage salad today, which we will have in for dinner. So first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna prepare my my cabbage. I'm using cabbage, cucumber, tomato, sweet pepper, all of these things, and I'm gonna make my own dressing. I'm also going to add some lettuce. Shredding my cabbage. That's just the amount of cabbage that I'm going to use. And I'm going to turn this one. Put it in this bowl and I'm gonna put some salt in this and let it sit and let it sit for a little bit and I'll be right back. I am going to do some lettuce, not much, just a little bit. Clean your meat like green vegetables. Make sure you, you clean it in um, salt water. Let it sit in the salt water for a minute and then you, you drain it so it dries out before you start. So if you don't do that, 
not be left any extra bugs or stuff in it. The salt water will bring them out and um, stuff like that. So. This is my. I'm gonna put it right over here. Right over here. And then I'm gonna get into the rest of my stuff. And this is my cooking bowl. a little bit of rough edge on mine I might not use the whole cucumber this is just so far so I'll just use enough And the best part of this salad, guys, is the um, is the, the dressing. Here guys, I have my my sweet pe peppers and stuff like that. They already washed, but I'm just going to use them already. Um, they already washed, but I just wanted to give them a rinse. I'm gonna go in with some red pepper. Go in with some. I could have done it in the chapter though. I'm gonna do it in the chapter. I'm used to fret a knife, you know. I'm used to fret a knife, and now knife is like nothing to me. Funny, ain't it? I'm so afraid of knife, man. But one time, um, I can't remember. I was a teenager and I was um, peeling a piece of cane with a rusty knife. And, I, and it, um, you know how you hold it clean and go so? That's what I did, and it took all the whole nail completely out so from then i promised myself i will never use a knife again okay that's where we go 
from then I would say never use the knife again I'm scared of I used to be very scared scared of knife how I hold it how I use it it's I don't mean, want to slip off my foot you know and then when I go to the clinic I can't remember when I went to the clinic they instead I put the gauze um, over it before they put the cotton they put the cotton on it and the cotton start better in the finger man that was no easy nothing to come out trust me trust me that wasn't an easy thing you know Okay guys, I'm gonna do my tomato while um, I take my my cabbage out the water and I put it just to um, drain so when I make my salad it won't have any water like that. It won't be water I should say. Guys, I'm gonna cut up my sweet onion. <laughs> Not my sweet onion, my red onion. I love red onion because it gives the food the food a flavor. I don't know why, but I just love red onion. And it's so funny thing I never used to use it, you know, until I um. Ugh. I saw my husband start using it. Well, using it. And the purple onion. I um, may I say, ah. Well, it wasn't bad at all. It wasn't bad at all. Okay, guys, I have some carrots. Oops. So I'm gonna try. So now my cabbage is all drained and ready to place in my bowl, which is this. There is my cabbage.
Ready? Right here. Okay guys, here I have my frying pan and I'm going to use some rosemary oil to saute my natural herb. Not, you're not going to saute too much because you want that crunch. And uh, So I'm going to go in with my, yeah, with my onions, both yellow and purple onions. And I'm gonna add one teaspoon full of apple cider vinegar to give it that tang, a tang to it. And here I'm gonna add a little bit of all purpose. I'm gonna do more mostly um, some Italian seasoning. And then I'm going to use some um, Italian seasoning. Where is my other seasoning? Oh, basil. Some basil. And that's it. Cover up a little bit more. And the vinegar is going to give it like now I'm gonna go in with my carrots. I have some threaded ones that I'm using already. So I'm gonna turn around a little bit. So I'll take everything for about five, three to five minutes. Get some good proof of a dragon. Now I'm gonna add my sweet. In. Yeah. 
Okay, guys, stay tuned. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Here I am going to make my salad dressing. This is parsley. I'm going to add some olive oil. About two tablespoons full of olive oil. And this is some lemon juice. I'm going to add two one tablespoon for because these are this is teaspoon if you choose to have more lemon it's up to you and in here I am going to have why do you suck my lips special kind of um, two tablespoon full of Mustard whip, Merkel whip, or mayonnaise, whichever you prefer. Which one you prefer? Okay, I have um, soy sauce, um, it's less sodium, the one with less sodium. I'm gonna use one teaspoon full. Now I'm gonna combine this together. If you have rice vinegar, you can use rice vinegar. I thought I had, but here you go. Again, here we go, here we go. So, I'm going to add just a little tip more of that. And I'm going to add some. This is my natural veggie um, seasoning that I blend up sweet pe pepper onions and so forth so what I'm going to do I'm going to add my dressing to it I'm going to add my dressing to it I am not using the right stuff today Mixing it together. So I mix my dressing that I made, and this would be my dressing. Then I add my stuff to it, and then um, I'm gonna place it in here, and then I'm gonna combine them together and make a wonderful sauce. Too. Guys, I'm going to make a little bit more dressing, but this time I'm going to use a one teaspoon full of honey. 